Hey there my beautiful makeup lovers! Thanks for tuning in with me and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you my top 5 of Julia's Place eyeshadow palettes and big disclaimer already, that doesn't mean I don't think the ones that are not featured in here are not great. I think all the Julia's palettes are great and amazing. I love them all but at least the ones I have and also um, that so it's just I went more like what is the one that I gravitate towards to which which is the one with the most amazing shades in my opinion so it's more this kind of thing I'm going to explain for you for all of them why I pick each one for which place and actually um, I also have to tell you that I don't have the original Nubian because I'm not interested in it and I also don't have the two latest releases which is the Warrior palette and the Afrik palette because they haven't come to Beauty Bay yet and as soon as they will I'm gonna pick them up. Um, so I am gonna do like a little bit of a estimation of the Warrior palette and the Afrik like where I think they would be if they are like I expect them to be. If this makes sense you will see so let's start so number five number five is the good old masquerade palette i have the mini version and i am putting this at place five because this was my very first trivia's place palette like probably for many others and i really love this one i, I still love it like i still like to use it and I think it's a great option, you know, with all the neutrals down here and then all the colors up here. And when I started using more color, I really loved that because I could make like a neutral look and just add a pop of color with like pink, purple or something blue or greenish over here. But now I'm gravitating more towards um, doing a full colorful look, as you can see. And so I am finding myself grabbing less for this one. I do grab sometimes for like single shades in here. But since you only have like two colorful ones, where this one is also kind of muted, I go more into other ones these days. So um, I still appreciate this palette a lot. And yeah, so I, I don't know, but these days it's um, just more like one that I love, but I don't grab too much anymore. Okay, let's go with the number two, seven, uh, number two, number four. <laughs> We're going from, you know, towards number one okay um so this the fourth number four is um one that i actually just picked up recently i have it at this point for two weeks <laughs> which is not too much but i am really enjoying it and i'm really loving it and i think it's just better than the other three not not better but i just like the color story more i feel more intrigued by it maybe because it's autumn but i do feel intrigued by the festival palette <laughs> I was talking forever and didn't show the palette. Anyway, so this is the festival palette. This is how the inside looks like. And I feel like this is a great autumn color story. Maybe that's why in the last two weeks I have been gravitating towards this one rather than other ones that I did not pick for my top five. And I think like, I just think the colors in here are stunning and you have so many nice colorful mattes so you can do really nice colorful looks. And I am just, can I just show one second? Like, look at this. Like, this red is everything. And I am so much enjoying that one. I have created, like, I have it since two weeks and I've played with it. Like, I am this kind of person who does a makeup look just for herself and then goes, you know, washes it off and goes to bed. And yeah, so I have created, like, a couple of looks with this one and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't filmed them because. It's already quite an old palette and I don't know if you would be interested in to see some looks with this one, let me know. Um, I'm really enjoying the idea behind it, like the warm tones with the pop of color. You have this one here, the Iri G and then the Aba, which allow you to create um, a really nice pop of color into a more colorful warm toned, um, it's not really neutral, but more uh, mattes. And if you take out these two, it's actually not such a crazy palette. And I really like that about that one. I think it's super versatile. I'm really loving it. And the only thing that I don't like, like that I think could be better about this one, I uh, think it's, yeah, I, I think these two colors here, the Ofala and the Itzafa, I think this uh, could have been a different color because I don't know, they are, it's not that they're close together, but you 
I don't know, like I don't use them really together in a look and I wish I could. So this could have been a bit darker maybe or it's just something different. Okay, let's move on to number three. Let me just clean my hands quickly so I'm not making a huge mess. Okay, so number three, uh, we're gonna get to the top three, <laughs> is the Nubian 2 palette. Um, this one, actually I did not expect to like that one too much. I picked it up because I'm kind of a collector, except of the original Nubian. And yeah, so I picked this one up because I thought, okay, so it's a neutral color scheme. And actually when I ordered it, I did not realize that this is kind of a green shimmer down here. So this was the first surprise. And I didn't realize that this was like kind of a, I, I, I did realize that this was a blue, but I did not realize it's kind of an unusual blue. And this is like a really nice um, yellow gold, like very nice. And this one is like a really orange, nice gold. And these two bronze tones up here, I love them so much. And I think this whole palette is just really surprising. Like it, I, even on camera, I think it doesn't look like you can make like very, um, exciting looks with that one but you can really do a lot with this one look at this green I mean this is so stunning and yeah I'm, I'm really excited about this one and I love to grab it for this element of surprise like every time I grab it I remember how surprised I was by this one and I still am once in a while thinking like wow this shade is really like this is probably the the palette of Julia's Place that the colors in the pan are like less attracting than actually the swatches and I am loving it for this element of surprise and I like to grab it it's more like a neutral palette with a pop of color but a bit more elaborated I feel like than the masquerade palette in a sense of how you can combine the colors in a surprising way so that's why it's my number three all right let me clean off also this thing I'm looking like a clown already a bit and yeah so my second like the last two were a tough choice a tough choice okay so i yeah let, let me explain. let me just show you so number two is the zulu palette why is this my number two um i love that one because obviously it's so nicely colorful it's amazing i really love the mats in here like this one this this teal one this pink one the purple one so I find like I find myself reaching for this one a lot accompanying with other Juvia's Place palettes. So every time I feel like I'm missing kind of a colorful matte in here, which to be honest, like most of the colorful shades are shimmers. And so I am really reaching for this one a lot if I want to have a really colorful look and then I'm, I don't have anything I miss in here. But I don't really reach for this one for a whole look. To be honest like i include this one a lot yes but i don't reach for it for a whole look usually so that's why it became number two because i i really often reach for this one and if i would lose that one i would immediately buy it again and but since i barely do full looks only using that one i am putting in a place two because there's one that i love to grab uh, a lot like crazy and that's my number one totally and I don't think it's a big surprise and that's the magic palette. For this one I have the big size so I actually like that because I think like oh maybe I'm gonna run out of this which I never will because the pen sizes are huge like look at this it's like my you can cover my you can cover my face with the whole palette so it's big 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 and I am loving that it's that big because it gives me the feeling my whole life I'll never run out of these and yeah why am i enjoying this so much i reach for this one a lot because i really like the whole you have your cool tones here you have your warm tones here and you can go really colorful because you do have this nice bright um red in here the color koji you do have this color Ife and Nichide, this one and they do look like identical here but this one is actually a really dark blue and this is a really dark purple but you can blend them so they become less intense like let me let me show you what i mean so this one as you can see now all of a sudden it's a purple and you can just you know even blend it out more and it becomes more sheer and as well as this one 
is a blue. Oh, I picked up quite a lot, but okay, let's go with this. And then it actually becomes a blue. And I think that's so surprising. And these two colors, I love them a lot. And I really like the, the whole setup of the palette. I love to reach for this one. I do reach accompanying with this one often, but with this one, I can get full looks only using that one, which is for me personally, not a necessity, but it's something that I appreciate. And I am loving this one so much, like this purple here, this purple here is probably my favorite um, purple shimmer shade of all times. I swatched it in a place that I cannot really turn my arm. Let me just swatch it again. Um, so this is probably my favorite purple of all times because it has this blue shift to it as you probably, I, I think it picks up on camera and it's so stunning. I love that one. Like, I feel like that's so nice. And I really love this color Koji here in the, to use it as a matte, as a, in my crease. Stunning palette. So yeah, I talked enough about the Juvia's Place palettes. Let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite Juvia's Place palettes? Which ones do you have? And yeah, so ah, I wanted to say, I think if I get a freak palette and if it's anything like I expected, I think it could be like passing out this one maybe on place three and then down of course so the masquerade palette wouldn't be there anymore in place five would be the festival then this one the nubian two then the afrique and then the zulu and then the magic palette because i think that the afrique palette could be like the zulu palette just you know giving you all the mats that you always missed in the Juvis place collection and I think it's going to be a great accompanying palette, but it does have more um, shimmers in it. So I think you can make more looks with it. So maybe it's even going to be place two. I don't know. And so I am really excited. I'm hoping it's coming soon to Beauty Bay. Like I am waiting. I feel like I've waited since forever, which is probably not true whatsoever, because let's face it, I'm just impatient, but that's okay. And anyway, I'm rambling, so let me know in the comments down below what are your favorites. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me because I would love to see you here again and chat with makeup about makeup with you. And yeah, so see you in my next video. Bye bye.